Hey everybody, uh, this geometry lesson is on analyzing conditional statements. Let's go ahead and take care of the board problem. Uh, each and I, This is 8B because um, uh, I teach at a block school and sometimes uh, this, this section is omitted because of uh, time constraints. So, so I like teaching it, but uh, just for time constraints at a block school, we sometimes skip this. So I call it this is 8B. Okay, so each figure is made up of squares, one unit by one unit. Find the distance around each figure and organize this into a table and use this to describe a pattern so you can predict uh, around the 20th figure in this pattern okay so it says to make a table you guys in the distance so the distance around this one is one two three four okay the distance around this one is one two three four five six seven eight okay get the idea I'll do one more one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, and so on and so on and so on. So I made a table, and I did the rest of those, and then it says uh, to describe a pattern. Well, look what's happening here, you guys. So can you see this is 1 times 4, this is 2 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4, so it's the, the whatever figure it is times 4. So if I they want the 20th, so it, uh, 20 times 4 would be 80 units around, okay? All right, so analyze conditional statements. So some definitions. A conditional statement is a statement that's in if-then form. So for example, if I live in Sacramento, then I live in California. The if part is called the hypothesis, and the then part is called the conclusion. So above, the I live in Sacramento is the hypothesis, what follows the if, and then what follows the then is the conclusion. So I live in California is the conclusion. So rewrite the conditional statement in if-then form. All giants catch flies. Okay. All giants catch flies. If you're a giant, then you catch flies. Okay, two angles are supplementary if, that's the key word right there, if they are a linear pair, so I'm going to rewrite it is if they're a linear pair, then two angles are supplementary. Okay, or then they are supplementary. Okay, so watch out for the if. Okay, the negation of a, of a statement is the opposite of the original statement. So, for example, the ball is red. The negation would be the ball is not red. Okay, you just say the opposite. The cat is not black, so this, the negation would be the cat is black. All right, so you'll see the significance of that shortly. So to show a conditional statement is false, you just need to give one counterexample. All right, the converse of a conditional statement is formed by interchanging the hypotheses and conclusions. So for example, if I live in Sacramento, then I live in California. Let me show you a shorthand to write that, you guys. You'll see why in just a little bit. I'm going to call this if A then B, where the they A is I live in Sacramento and B is I live in California. Even shorter, you can just write A arrow B, and, and this says if A then B. Okay? All right, so the converse is to switch uh, your A and B, so if B then A. So that would be up above, if I live in California, then I live in Sacramento. Okay, is that true? If I live in California, then I live in Sacramento? No, because you could live in Woodland, for example, or Los Angeles, for example, and you still live in California, but you don't live in Sacramento. All right, the inverse of a conditional statement is formed by negating both the hypotheses and conclusion. So if it's a, if A then B, then then the inverse would be not A then not B. You gotta you gotta uh, negate both the hypotheses and conclusion. So it, it so it would be if I don't live in Sacramento, then I don't live in California. And that's not true either, because if I don't live in Sacramento, I could be living in Redding, but I still live in California, so that's not true either. Okay. Uh, and then the contrapositive is formed by switching the hypotheses and conclusion and then negating them both, okay? So not B, then not A. So for example, if I don't live in California, then I don't live in Sacramento. And that's true. Okay, so a review. Conditional statement, if A, then B. The converse would be if B, then A. The inverse is not A, not B. The contrapositive is not B, then not A. All right, so Write the if-then form, the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of the statement guitar players are musician, musicians, and decide whether each is true or false. Okay, so here it is. If you're a guitar player, then you are a musician. And that's true, I think. Yeah, that's true. The converse is, if you're a musician, then you're a guitar player. Well, that's not true. You might be a percussionist or something, or, or a clarinet or something. Okay, or singer. Okay, uh, the inverse would be not A, not B. So if you're not a guitar player, then you're not a musician. And that's not true either. Contrapositive would be not B, not A. So if you're not a musician, then you're not a guitar player. And that's true. Okay, equivalent statements, you guys. The conditional statement and its contrapositive 
they're equivalent, you guys, so they're either both true or they're both false. And similarly, the converse and inverse, they're equivalent also, and they're either both true or both false. Okay, a biconditional statement. Yes, we have biconditional statements. When a, bi uh, when a conditional statement and its converse are both true, you can rewrite it as a single biconditional statement uh, with the words in between them, if and only if. And you can abbreviate that as IFF. Okay, uh, so example, dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. Here's one way to write it. If it's dry ice, it's frozen carbon dioxide, and that's true. And the converse would be, if it's frozen carbon dioxide, then it's dry ice. And that's also true, you guys. So you can rewrite it as this. If it's dry, it's, it's dry ice, if and only if, IFF, it's frozen carbon dioxide. Or you can write it also, it's frozen carbon dioxide, IFF, if and only if it's, if it's dry ice. Okay? Perpendicular lines, you guys. If two lines uh, intersect to form right angles, uh, there's my right angle right there. Uh, then they're perpendicular, and we discussed that in chapter uh, or in section 2.1, I believe. Okay, you can write uh, line L as per perpendicular to line M with an upside down capital T in between them. That's the shorthand uh, version to write the word perpendicular. All right, uh, can this be written as a biconditional statement? And if so, then go ahead and do it. So. Yes, it can be, you guys, and you can write two lines are perpendicular if and only if they intersect to form a right angle. Okay, or you can write it as uh, if two lines intersect to form a right angle, uh, if and only if they are perpendicular. Okay, decide whether each statement about the diagram is true. Okay, so here's my diagram. Is AC perpendicular to, is AC, this line, perpendicular to this one? Yes, because of that right angle right there. Okay. Okay, angle AEB and, and CEB, here's AEB, AEB is this one right here, and then CEB, do they make a straight line when you put them together? Yes, so they, then that is true also because they make a straight line. How about uh, EA and EB? Here's EA goes that way, EB goes that way, do they make a straight line? No, they don't make a straight line, so no, that one's not true. Okay, using the figure to decide whether each is true. Angle JMF, here's JMF, and angle FMG, are they supplementary? Yes, because they make a straight line together right there. So the straight lines are always 180, and 180 means supplementary. So this angle and this angle makes this straight line, so it's a 180. Okay, point M is the midpoint of FH. There's no indication uh, that says that this segment here equals this segment. I don't have any markings there. So even though they look like it, you can't assume it is. All right, JMH, JMF, sorry, and HM. So here's JMF. That's this angle right here. HMG is HMG. That's this angle right here. These angles are formed by two intersecting lines, and they're opposite each other, so that's true. Okay, and then finally, FH is perpendicular to JH. I don't see any right angles in there to indicate any perpendicular lines, so that one's false. All right, uh, oops, and I'm done.